Orange barrels seem to be everywhere this summer, and that is because the street department is working on projects on Pomeroy Road, State Route 682 and State Route 56, and High Street. Find out more about these projects on this edition of Spotlight. The biggest project may be on Pomeroy Road, and Lucas says it's more than just paving. The paving will be the last thing done. Um, we'll go ahead and do all the drainage improvements and uh, get the get the slip fixed and the guardrail placed, and then, then we'll do paving. This behind me is so far the biggest part of the construction project on Pomeroy Road. It's called a box culvert. And it looks like it's solid concrete, but it's actually hollow inside so that water can flow through. Even after lots of rain dates, the workers are still working hard to finish the project by adding some wing walls. They've been taking that steel rebar and tying it, tying it together to form the, form the foundation for their uh, wing walls. After the wing walls are complete, the ditch work will begin. Lucas says the most interesting job may be at the intersection of State Route 682 and State Route 56. That's an interesting job. That job's got a lot going on. Uh, it's not a real big area of extent, but what's going on there is totally, totally different to what's out there now. The construction project at the intersection of State Route 682 and State Route 56 is an improvement project. Right now, the intersection is only two lanes wide. When the construction is complete, it will be four lanes wide. And what that means for you is a lot less traffic and a lot faster travel time. With that widening comes extensive traffic control. So all the, all the traffic signals will be new and timed. There'll be protected turns um, on all four approaches so that vehicles can get through without having to wait on cars to pass them they'll have their own they'll have their own leg of time and with all of this construction safety is always the first concern we take the safety side extremely seriously um, we make sure we have a solid traffic control plan we make sure we're visible um, we have ways to communicate we make sure that we're wearing the proper personal protective equipment This summer, High Street is getting a facelift. Lucas says the project will make it look a lot better. So what we've done is we've raised all the curb and sidewalk to that six inch minimum, grinded off about three inches of the asphalt to the brick, and we're gonna put back three inches and it's all gonna be up to date and look real nice. And the High Street project is an issue two project, which means the city applied for grant funding and received it for a period of two years to make the High Street area more accessible. Before this project began, on this block of High Street, the curb and the street were pretty much the same height. Now that the project is almost complete, you can see that the curb is higher than the street. This allows for better water flow and safer pedestrian traffic. Traffic is being maintained throughout the project, which Lucas says should be completed by September. Along with all of these projects, the street department is continuing its annual road rehab. They are filling in potholes, repaving streets, and replacing bricks to make the ride home in your car safer and easier. That's all for this edition of Spotlight. I'm Lynn Walsh reporting for the Government Channel.